everyone and welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So today um, I am going to dedicate this video to my mom who loves the movie Mary Poppins. And on Friday we watched the movie and at the end they sang a song about going to fly a kite which reminds me so much of summer. And I decided that we are going to make a collage of a kite. So you're going to need lots of different colored paper, a big paper so that you can paste, glue, and scissors. Um, you might also want to have some crayons markers on hand just in case, but I am so excited to do this. Um, I'm going to get myself set up and I can't wait to see you. Okay, so I am set up. I have a large piece of paper that I'm going to actually turn portrait mode, but we can't really see it, so it's fine. So I'm going to keep it this way. I have three pieces of white paper and you will see what we're going to do with them. The first one we're going to do is we are going to keep it this way. So I have these little squares that I love so much because they are so fun. And I'm going to put them here and I'm going to make a pattern with them. So let's see, maybe I won't even make a pattern. Maybe I'll just, you know, put them on. So I'm going to start by making up here and we're going to make a diamond shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these together like this and then fold these so they make like, let's see, so they make like this. We are going to be making a kite, but we're not going to cut our kite quite yet. This is just going to be our, you know, where to put things. If they overlap these lines, that's okay. So watch what I do. I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to start. I'm going to make just some random ones. Let's see what happens. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me do it. Now don't, ooh, now don't worry if it starts to go off the page because we're gonna cut it anyway. Okay. Okay, Oop, let me put some more glue here. Okay, so you're probably thinking, Miss Temple, you must be out of your mind because this doesn't look like anything. Now, I'm gonna take a ruler because I just can't deal if it's not perfect, but you guys don't really need that. Some of them might fall off and that's okay. Okay, so now I have my kite I'm gonna move this stuff to the side. I'm gonna take my paper and put it in portrait mode, my big paper, okay? And I'm gonna glue my kite. Uh, you know what, we're not gonna glue our kite yet because we need to make a cloud. So I'm gonna fold my paper in half. And I'm gonna draw. A puffy cloud. I'm gonna cut it out. I'm gonna glue those on. Two. 
I'm actually going to also take my Sharpie and go over this one because we want it to look the same. It's okay if it's not perfect. Great. Now, I'm going to decide where on my paper I want my kite to go. And I think I kind of like it this way. So I'm going to turn it over. Put some glue on the back. Paste it right. You know what? I think I only like it on one. Okay. Paste it that way. Okay. Now, kites have a tail to them. So that way they fly better. I'm dropping everything, guys. Okay. So I'm going to take the paper that I cut and I'm going to make just a little line shape. You can make it wiggly or you can make it straight. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to make mine wiggly. Take my glue that I just dropped. Take a different glue because I can't find that one. And we're going to glue this on right underneath our kite. Last but not least, you need to make the bows on your pipe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to these little squares that I have, and I'm gonna pick two colors or three colors that I liked the most. So I like the purple and the orange. So I'm gonna take two purples that are the same and two oranges that are the same. And I'm going to glue those on. Now, if you don't have these little squares, that's okay. You can do this with other paper. You can just use markers to color in different designs on your kite. doesn't really matter. I just have these materials here, so it makes it easier. But... Now that you are all done with your kite, we have one last thing to do. I'm gonna take one of these colors. Let's see. I think I'm gonna take a green one and I'm gonna cut it into a circle. So I'm just cutting the edges off, just so it looks like a little circle. And I'm gonna go around it with my Sharpie marker. I'm gonna put two little lines in it so it looks like a button. I'm gonna put that right in the middle of my kite. And there you have it. I might outline up here. Just so it looks really nice and clean. And there you have it. A beautiful kite for a beautiful summer day. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it this way so you'll be able to see the whole thing. So what I want from you is you can send them to me at htempleatschools.nyc.gov. You can um, send them to me on Instagram at Miss Temple's Apartment, or you can just dojo them to me. I can't wait to see your beautiful kites on this beautiful summer day. See you later.